Welcome back to Cigar Talk. I'm your host, Rob Jones. We got co-host Bryant Falconer in studio. How you doing, brother? Hey, man, I'm doing good. Doing good, bro. It's been a good week. Yes, sir. It's been a great week, yes, man. Yes, sir. You know, I was quarantined last week. This was, I mean, it really just been like three days I've been out of the house, and it is awesome. You, you were like Martin Lawrence when he got out of prison. <sighs> I'm free! <laughs> Ooh. I'm free! You know what? It, it, it was that way, but on a how you feel level. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah, I was cooped up. That was not fun. But feeling back to your old self is great. Oh, yeah. Until, Especially until, after that. Un- until you take a fall. <laughs> I'm not. So on the so, on the pre-show, yeah, say, we talked about it, and I took a spill. No, the, bro. What would you call it? <laughs> that was a jump off the Empire State <laughs> Building, dude. That was a fall. I hit hard. I did hit hard. But anyway, that's enough the, about that. The concrete was like, dang. <laughs> the concrete said, what "Was that?" 280, yeah. 280, 285. Falling, no brace. <laughs> Just. There's at least one G. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, let's talk about what we're smoking. You go ahead. I'm going to grab one out of the humidor. Ah, I'm smoking a Placencia Alma de Fuego. Alma de Fuego. Great stick, man. You know about them, baby. Oh, yeah. You I had know. one I had one last week, dude. And I had one the week before that. That's what, a fantastic. Was that it? one of them that was in the uh, care package? From yes, the, it was. Yeah. Yes, it was. That dude takes care of us, man. So here's what I'm smoking tonight. Uh oh. Little uh, definition cigar, Uh-oh. red band. Uh oh. I don't know anything else about it. Uh oh. Do you know what, which one is which? Oh, it's the Maduro. Yes. Okay. So oh, chocolate. You know, I told you there were two of these in my care package. Wow. No, no, not two red ones, but two definition two cigars. Definitions. One was the blue, and one was yeah. the red. And let me tell you, this is the last. I saved this one the longest. Hey, Luke, did you hear that? He said a red and a what? A blue. So that means I won what? I want all no, no, the no. Monte Cristos. <laughs> Give them up, baby. Give them up. My no, blue. No, no, no baby. No, 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 they no, got no, no, nothing no. to do with that. Huh? What yeah, does that have? To- that whole conversation we had, if, you, if you're if you a Patreon, you know what conversation I'm talking about. We were talking about I yours. Need, I need. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. We are talking about your top three from last week. We're all, yeah. Not what was in my humidor. Oh, okay. I don't even you know how almost you. almost made it. But still, when they listen to it, and when you, you finally listen after 10 minutes. I'm going to go back and listen. Yeah. Don't smoke any more Monte Cristos. <laughs> <laughs> I want them all. It's a colder be- oh, uh, Here we go. <laughs> Let's get back to script. Mm. <laughs> we don't want to hear you singing we this We write song. one? Huh? We don't want you singing that song. That's mm. what we're talking about. Mm. Oh, man. Anyway, you guys know how much I've been all over these yeah. definition Straight cigars. Off, first draw, what was it? Oh, it's fantastic. See, see, see. The draw's good. Look at that wrapper. Mm. Beautiful, dark, oily. And you know what? I dig I was the just lace to bands. Say, that's the perfect bands for those. Well, you know what's so great about it is... It's simple. Yeah. The simplicity of this being a great smoke. Mm. You didn't need to decorate it with some ornate three-tone wrapper. They're ribbons. <laughs> it's lace. It's first, first-class ribbon. There you- <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're going to leave him yeah, alone. Right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, right? We're going to leave him alone. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, I'm a big fan. Mm. Definition of cigars. You guys are knocking it out. Yes, sir. So let's take a minute to talk about our sponsors right quick. We've got Case Elegance. Elegance, elegance. Dude, so talking about what we did last week, uh-huh. you know, we were talking about that leather bag. Yes, sir. You know what I was thinking 143. was- 143. Really? Yes. Dude, that is a good price on For that bag. bag. you have forever. And the thing about it is, I was thinking, dude, what a perfect size bag to be able to carry your stuff and a cigar traveler. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And, and they have cigar travelers. Yes, they do. But I was like, I'm thinking about getting that bag. Mm. That is sweet. <clears throat> and then the Octador. The Octador. I mean, an eight-sided humidor that's a tight fit. It has magnetic ceiling around the edges. It has a drawer in the bottom mm-hmm. for, for your, accessories. your accessories, the cutter, the lighter, mm-hmm. the traveler. And then it holds 100-plus cigars. Mm-hmm. 
and it has the humidification, humidification, West Texas, <laughs> humidification. Lebunkian. I just left that F right out. Humidican. <laughs> now uh, the humidification uh, hydrometer is right there. You always know what it is, and yes, it sir. comes with a system to do mm-hmm. all your humidification. Humidific- stop. Leave it alone. Your humidity. Bruh. bruh stop. Climidity? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, you, you you took us there. No, you took us there. I said stop. Oh, well, you went there. Let me have another drink. That's the problem. So stop. Oh, gotcha, stop. gotcha, gotcha. So anyway, no, dude. They are lights out. Mm-hmm. And then the, the watch cases. Go on their website, dude. dude. They have a lot of stuff that's for <sighs> men. I was definitely looking at I think it was a tw- uh, 12 count watch case. I was like, yeah. Yeah. It's two tone glass top. I was like, oh, man. That's and you know they can etch it for yes, you. Yes. Because I saw that. A, a, your name, yeah, your initials. Whatever you want on there. Yeah. I was like, I'm loving this. I'm truly loving this. I man. was thinking when we get to episode 200. I was thinking about ordering an Octador and having the Cigar Talk logo etched on the glass, and then we give it away. Oh, that is good. What do you think? That is good. Hmm. I've been trying to come up with some different ideas for episode 200. You know, we're 100 and, I mean, what are we? 80-something away. 83 away. Yeah. So, you know, it's not that far. It isn't. It isn't. I mean, think 200. Yeah. 200. We were surprised to make it to 100, let alone 200. We were surprised to make it to 20. Yeah, true. So, we appreciate you guys sticking with us. Especially those from the beginning. Yeah. Dude. Hey, so man. I was talking to Jax Rocks, and he went back and he just finished every single episode as of today. And he still wants to be with us. Right. So, Anyway, if you haven't gone by to check out Case Elegance website, do that. the The link is down in the show notes, and then we also have it on our Facebook page. Yes, sir. You can go by, click the link, run over there, take a look at all the cool man stuff mm, they got. Because it is man stuff, and it's it's like the man stuff that's quality that you're like, ah, yeah. oh, it's kind of like when you go to a badass knife making sh- sh- website. You know, you're just like, yeah, that stuff's made for guys. <laughs> You murdering words tonight. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're murdering the, we all <laughs> you're murdering words tonight, bro. Who else? The leaf. Oh, well, you know, <clears throat> after my COVID, mm-hmm. the only place I've been is the leaf. Hey, best and place to go. Saturday morning, coffee. Yes, we were there. I was able to beat Larry, got my chair. <laughs> I like how you said your chair. <laughs> hey, if I get there first, it's, it's my chair. chair. So, you know, what, what was really disturbing, though, was like, you see how far away Larry was sitting? Oh, yeah. Me, too. Well, you were in your regular spot, though. That's over six feet away. It is. But Larry took it another <laughs> He four went to feet. the other side of the room. Yeah. And he was carrying Lysol. Yep. And a megahorn to talk to us. <laughs> if, if I cared, I would have been offended. We know you don't care, bro. So, anyway, no, the Leaf is the home away from home. Yes. I mean, and actually, it's better than home away from home because it's really the escape. Okay. It's like you've had a long week. Mm-hmm. You can go in there and relax. And the great thing is, like, on Sunday, I went up there again okay. to watch uh, the uh, Green playoff Bay. game, mm-hmm. the Green Bay game. Now, did you realize that the Super Bowl is at Tampa Bay? Yeah. That is cool. Yeah, <laughs> you don't like that? I do. I, I do. I mean, because a lot of teams have had chances; it's never happened. Yeah. But you know, you go back. The Seventy nine Rams played in the Rose Bowl, but they was like, "That's not their home. That's L A." Yeah, but still, it wasn't their home. <laughs> <laughs> I bet nobody had to fly from from the Rams <laughs> to the game. True, <laughs> nobody. True. <laughs> but this is the Tampa Bay Stadium, know, so know, that's cool. Hats off to Brady for making yeah, it. And yeah. dude. They had a big learning curve from the beginning of the yeah. season. And I tell you what, bringing in A.B. and bringing in Gronk. Yeah. Dude, did you see Gronk? He had a hell of a game. Yeah. He he got involved way late. Yeah, but he's still the same dude, man. He is that competitor. Know, but how about that? Brady and Gronk going back together with without a different who? team. Without Bilicek. who? <laughs> 
<laughs> and where's Bilicek in the playoffs? Mm, he's, a, he's on the couch with he the was, Cowboys right, and the right. 49ers. <laughs> so, anyway, hats off to Brady. Hats off to uh, Mahomes. Mm. Hell of a team. It ought to be a real – and tell you what, the playoffs were really yeah. good this year. And here's the thing about it. He watched that at where? The, the Leaf. 1166. North 2nd. Second. second. So, if and you guys, every episode in the show notes uh, from, I don't know, 10 episodes ago, <laughs> uh, also has the Leaf and their phone number. Yes, you can sir. call and order up the cigars that we talk about. Yes, sir. Uh, the definition cigars, mm-hmm. which you can't find hardly anywhere, he has them. Mm-hmm. The – uh, Viva La Vida's, he has them. And then he also carries Who? McAuliffe, Who? a huge. The, the number three. And really, like, one of the biggest facings, facings yeah. of McAuliffe. Yep. I don't know. That's true. I don't know of what cigar he doesn't have. That's a McAuliffe. That's yeah. true. I mean. Because you're going there and it's. it's the only reason he doesn't have is because they don't have any more to give out because they're all gone. Right. I mean, unless <laughs> they're waiting that. on a reorder, yeah. they've yeah. got them all. I just thought about that. And yeah. so, I mean, whenever I came back from COVID. Came back. It was a trip. You know what? I went in there and I picked up some McAuliffe. Mm-hmm. I picked up some Definition Cigars. Yes, sir. And I picked up the Fonseca. Have you had that? No. That is a great stick from uh, my father's. You, you told me about that the other day. Yeah, but I think I said it was Francesca, and it was actually Fonseca. So you know, we know you said that. Tomorrow. I was I was close, but you know, you, you have a problem saying ice correctly. <laughs> ice, ice. It's like how many eyes did he have? Yeah, ice. <laughs> so anyway, talking about McAuliffe, I mean those guys. You can't say enough about them unless you want to do a two-hour show. Because they lead the industry in the way they back the brick and mortars. Yes, sir. There's nobody out there that backs the brick and mortars more. Yes, sir. Not only do they only sell in brick and mortars, they have all these cool programs Come that on. help the brick and mortar. Tell the truth. Tell and the those truth. same programs, in turn, help the consumers mm-hmm. and help their ambassadors. And so if you're not an ambassador, look in the show notes. There's a link. Crawl takes you over up there. Under your rock. Yeah, crawl up from underneath your rock. <laughs> Come on. Go sign up. In fact, I got a, a message today from a guy who registered to get his hey, ambassador, and he you. smoked a Sumatra, mm. and he was getting ready to smoke a medallion. Yeah. And so I, evidently, he listens to the show. <laughs> well, and he he told me, man, I love the show. I'm a new listener, first time YouTube watcher. Ah. And so, you know, I love getting comments like that. I pray his first episode. To no, that, you know to what? Wasn't... That episode I took down. Okay, thank you. I Jesus. actually ended up taking that episode Whew, down. It you. was not our best performance, <laughs> to say the least. So, it probably more on me than you. But anyway, that goes without saying. Uh, you know what? I you know what? My wife said I made a bad decision because I had COVID. Yeah, we're going to blame it on COVID. And she said there is a actual condition where you will make bad decisions while you have COVID. Yeah. Yeah. And so I was like, how much grace time do I get on that? Not that much. <laughs> Six weeks, eight weeks. <laughs> With you until you get your smelling back. I, I'm wanting, so you still riding it. You know, my doctor said I might not get my smell back up to three months. Isn't that crazy? Wait a minute. What did you say, Luke? How long? Six, six months. What if you go six months without it? That's. I mean, it's weird because you, you don't even notice. Every day, aren't you? You know, I do. <laughs> he said it's a benefit from having COVID. He can retrohale because he doesn't have a sense of smell. I was like, it would take somebody that sadistic to think that that was a benefit. <laughs> it is a benefit. I get to retrohale more. Oh my goodness. Hey, but I'm just glad you're here, brother. Thank you, man. I am, man. But. If you haven't signed up for the ambassador program, look down in the show notes, go by, sign up. They have a Facebook group that you'll be a part of. It's only for ambassadors and it's like a whole family. Yes, sir. You know what I mean? Guys hanging out. I mean, they've got guys from all over the the world. world. And they have relationships. They talk, yeah. and it's like it's, it's a community. It's not that they set that up and then they just put it out there. They participate, and they participate on a level that's like these other companies need to get on board with it, man. They 
they they, they roll. Yes. Yeah, and they they lead by example. Oh yes, oh yes. I mean, it, it's it's astounding to be honest with you. So anyway, uh, coming up later in the show, we're going to do our pick six here in a minute, mm. but we are going to rate cigar aficionado. Mm-mm. You know, they give out ratings to cigars, Mm-mm. so we're going to look at their top 25, yes, and then we're going to assess them a rating <laughs> on how good of a job they did. <laughs> we know one of us doesn't have a filter, so. Yeah, and, I, and, yeah, and I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried. He had this look on that. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. We have to think about those things, though. We do? Yeah. Especially Ooh. after the last show. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. That was... Well, no. I, uh, did you see the cover for today's video? Yeah, I saw it. You did? That was yeah. good, wasn't it? Yeah. Because that's how I walked in this door. I was like, no, sir. Mm-mm. Yeah, but did you see Bernie? No. Yeah, at the bottom it says zombie zone. Yeah, I saw that. Bernie's sitting on the E. I didn't see that. Let me see that. <laughs> you can't see it on my phone. It's too small. I'll show it to you afterwards. See, that's why. <laughs> I had you in the gas mask. I know. And then Bernie sitting on the E. <laughs> I figured we had to have him in there somewhere. <laughs> because of. I got you. Yeah. I got hey, you. now, did you see the one with uh, Sharon Stone? No. Oh, dude, that you was see the, the one funniest. with McGregor? No. <laughs> he got him in the chokehold. He's sitting in the, and all you see is the mittens around McGregor's neck. <laughs> no, I haven't seen that one. Man, I saw I said, that's it. The internet has won totally. <laughs> I was like, wow. People are people are so amazing, man, with their minds and where they go with certain things. McGregor's it's, laying there half half asleep. <laughs> there it is. Look, look. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one, yeah. Uh, Hey, but check this one out. You remember this movie? Yeah. Oh, they got him in. (laughs) No. You see where he is? (laughs) (laughs) That was my favorite. And then you heard of the other one that was said, uh, you've heard of Elf on a Shelf? Oh, yeah, yeah. Now we got uh, Bernie Bernie on on a gurney. gurney. Yeah. (laughs) Which was funny because it was appropriate. (laughs) You know what I mean? Totally appropriate. He's so close to being on a gurney. (laughs) But I love the way he was sitting there holding mail. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to swing by here, knock out this inauguration, then I got to drop this off at the post office. Off. I got something else to do. Right. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure he was sleeping. <laughs> no. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> he was cold. <laughs> true. <laughs> true. So, anyway, uh, let's get to the pick six. You yes, got sir. yours ready? Oh, yeah. All right. Rock and roll. Let's hear what you got. Come First on. one was a definition green label, which is the Cameroon. Nice. Very nice. My second one is a Diaz's Gloria, the Nicaraguan. Oh, great stick. Great yes. stick. And my third is the one I'm smoking tonight, Placencia. Very nice. Yeah, very nice. Oh. I do. I'm a fan of that cigar. <sighs> This is a great stick. It really is. Yeah. And it's one of those that is kind of usually off my radar until I see somebody smoking one, and then I'm like, oh, I, I need to smoke one of those. And the good thing about it, it's pairing well with this Evan Williams 1783. Very it nice. really is. Very nice. It really is. Okay, so this week, you know, Talk to I got to say, I don't want this to downgrade my three, <laughs> but, you know, my taste is about 50%. Gotcha. So that that being said, I did go with some cigars which I've enjoyed before. So my first pick is going to be the Alec Bradley Project Forty Maduro, and you know I like, and the only one I know is the other one which I believe is the natural, but the Maduro has some very rich flavors, and I mean the cigar is like six eighty five, so I mean that's going to make my list. And then the next one on my list is the McAuliffe Herencia Habano. Dude, I've been smoking some of those with some great coffee. And let me tell you, man, that Habano is just lights out. That's It's become one of my favorite cigars from McAuliffe. And, you know, the thing about the McAuliffe line is every so often I switch which one's my favorite because they have so many good ones. Nothing will take the Medallia's place. 
That's true. Well, you know, I could throw the the Reserva in there if I could afford to smoke. If afford. I could, if I could, that would be the cigar I just sat around and smoked all the time. How amazing would that be? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That would be an amazing feat. <laughs> I mean, especially as much as I smoke. <laughs> That's what I'm I've had seven reservas today. <laughs> what oh, you hit the lotto last week. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, it's been a, a very interesting week. So my third and final mm-hmm. stick is the Viva La Vida Jester. <sighs> Great smoke. Yeah, yeah. I mean, packs full. I mean, you know, it's a home run every time. Mm-hmm. So anyway, that's that's going to... That's going to round, round out the six. top six. That's yeah. a good six, man. Now, what do you think about the Project 40 Maduro? You didn't you know say I nothing love, on that you know one. I love the Project 40 Maduro, man. As soon as they came out, and I, was it you or Larry that showed me that stick? I think he did because yeah. I showed it to him. Yeah, he showed me that stick, and I was like, okay. And then I tried it. I was like, oh. It's like, how did you learn about this? Because you know he's a flathead, 770, 660. He's Mr. CAO. I was like, oh, my goodness. This is a good stick. I'm not saying that's where you stay, Larry. I'm just saying when we see you, 90 ti- 90% of the time you have one somewhere. <laughs> Look at me reaching back. I got one now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's – Get on the Cigar Aficionado's yeah. Top 25 of 2020. Here and we you go. Know, you know, here's the thing about it. I have brushed through it. Okay. Just to see which cigars I recognize. Okay. Because, you know, they they have a lot of random cigars on there that I've never heard of. And some of them, you know, in the past have been Cubans. And it's like, you know, I don't smoke Cuban, so I'm definitely not going to know any of those. So I don't even address the Cuban cigars that make the list. Okay, I got you. So let's start with number 25 is, oh, man, and you really don't want me pronouncing all 25 cigars. <laughs> <laughs> but this one the is the Raymond Alones Alones. Let me see that. <laughs> Let me see that. Ramon Alonez Alonez. <laughs> Number two, Edition L- L- Limitada. <laughs> he destroyed this. Raymond Alone Alone. <laughs> no, no, you go ahead and yeah, keep it. <laughs> that's the only way we're going to understand what it's. <laughs> 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 <For real. laughs> At Number 24, it's our fucking try. <laughs> we, got, we got a guy with a Winnebago in, in Lubbock, like, I know that one. <laughs> Oh my God! What? I've never smoked this one. I've never heard of this. Well, what's man. number twenty-four? Herrera Estelle Miami, the short. I've, Corona I've heard Gordon. of that. I've, I've heard, heard of that. Of that I've, one too. I've never smoked it. So uh, Herrera Estelle. I, I drew never, estates. I, I've never smoked the Ramos alone alone either. <laughs> Nobody has. <laughs> That's why I'm alone. <laughs> <laughs> For real, alone. <laughs> Twenty-three. Is the La Flor Dominicana 1994 Mambo. Yeah, I've had that one a lot. Mm-hmm. I've had thought, it once. Did you say 94? Yep, 1994. Oh, I thought it was the 84 no, that I've made it. i had this one, and I think I was... Where, it, it wasn't here. It was away. It was either in Austin or... No, I went, it was in Austin. Let me when see I the had, picture of that one. See? Okay, no, I have not had that one. I was thinking of the 84, which has the flower on the band. Yeah, this has a flower, too. Oh, it looks more like a, a, a tulip or something. Well, I think maybe I've got it wrong. Maybe it's the ninety four I'm thinking mm. of. So we go to number twenty two. So if it's the if it is the one I was thinking of, that's a good smoke. It is, man. It I don't is. know that it would be on my twenty five though. But go yeah, ahead. Yeah, because I've only had one, and it, it's a good smoke, but it was not. I've probably had about six to ten huh. over the period of like three or four years. Okay. Okay. So. Number 22, Romeo and Julieta Reserva, the real Nicaraguan Toro. Okay. I wonder how much money they spend advertising with this company. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We understand. <laughs> <laughs> the producers give them the old. He's like, stop it, stop it. <laughs> they may come one day. <laughs> 21. Hey, hey, the sponsor's going, they're never going to sponsor the show. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> 21, the High Clare Castle Victorian Toro. I've never heard of that. I don't one. know that. Let me see that one. It's a nice looking band. <laughs> the band looks good. <laughs> I don't know how the cigar smokes. Now, I've never heard of this one. Okay. Number 20. The Four Kicks 
Capa Espe- Especial Robusto. I've actually smoked that. That's How a good was stick. It? It's a good stick. I I don't what what number is that one? Twenty. Twenty. I could I could see that. In the top. Okay. Yeah, I, I could see that. I mean, you know, like a lot of these other cigars, I don't know, but I could see that being in a top twenty list. Yeah. Okay. Then you have nineteen, the Placencia Coseca. 146 oh yeah yeah that's a great smoke we all know that. I'm, I'm good with i'm good with that one in the yeah, top 20 yes i yes. really am and then you're the one you just talked about number 18 the fonseca by my father oh, petite corona dude i let me tell you what i've, I've never had i've it. smoked several of these cigars saturday mm-hmm. i picked up a couple of more i picked up the robusto and the uh-huh. toro and I don't even think it's an actual Toro. I think it's like a Toro extra because mm. it was like, I want to say like six and a half inches. Mm. But anyway, and it was wrapped in cedar. Really good smoke. Yeah. <laughs> don't say nothing. Okay. Stay calm. <laughs> oh, it must be a Monte Cristo. No, oh. number 17, Camacho Nicaraguan Robusto, the orange label. Okay. I mean. And I've had a few of those. I like that stick. You think that's a top 20? Nah, it had been. I would say it's like a top 40. Yeah. Maybe top fifty. I'd have put it in the thirties. Maybe. Yeah, I'd have put it in the thirties. Okay. Oh, sixteen. I know who sixteen is. Yeah, Viva oh, La Viva Vida. La Vida. Yeah. Chester. You know what? I'm so proud for those guys Ooh, man. because they have put in the work to deserve it. Oh yes. You know what I mean? And, oh, yes. and I'm not saying that the other guys haven't, no. but just seeing the journey firsthand with the guys who run. We Artisanal, Artisanal Del Tabaco. <laughs> if it's not a three-letter word, one <laughs> syllable, please do not say anything else. All right? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> 15 is La Aroma de Cuba Edición, a special number one. Okay. I, I've never smoked that particular cigar. Mm-hmm. I am a big fan of, of La Roma. Roma. Mm-hmm. They uh, make a good stick, so I'm not going to argue with that one. Okay. 14 is the Casa Turret Series 1973 Torpedo. Let me see that one. Yeah, I've never had it. Me neither. Never heard of it, to be honest And the with thing you. is, some of these look good, though. Oh, no, I'm not saying that they don't have some good cigars. Mm, 13. Warzone Robusto. That yes. is, yeah, I'm I'm digging that. Yes. I'm digging that. That's a good coffee stick with that. Me, man. That is. Whew. Twelve, the Aston Virgin Sun Grown Sorcerer. I and I, I've smoked one of those. I don't have a problem with that. I think mm. that's a quality stick. I think that you get up past fifteen. Yeah, we got some good sticks going on here. Number twelve, the Ast oh, I said that one. Eleven. The the Bolivar Bellicoso Fino. The bowl, the bowl, what is it? <laughs> we told you, man. <laughs> let me see it. <laughs> we can let you see it, but don't talk. <laughs> That's the Bolivar. Yeah. Bellicoso Fino. Okay. Let's leave those I, words around. Hey, hey, leave them alone. Hey, leave them alone. Hey, I was just Ten. making sure if I didn't need to correct you. you, know, you don't need to correct <laughs> anybody. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? I've never had that stick either. No, me neither. And I I have smoked some of the cigars yeah. in that line, and they've always but stood up. But I've never up. seen this one. Yeah, it's probably a special cigar that you can only get if you work at Cigar Aficionado. Okay. We hit the top ten now. Okay. Drum roll. <laughs> Number 10 comes in, the Henry Clay Warhawk Corona. I like it. I dig it. That's a good stuff. Yes, sir. Oh, now I know this one at number nine. Well, can you lay it on me? Rocky Patel, number six Corona. He like, no. Larry shaking you know his what? head. Yeah, I, I, I like this I shit, smoked man. it. I liked it. I don't know if it's in the top 10 mm. of 2020. Mm. I would say that's a top 30 stick. <laughs> I told you. He doesn't have his filter on, folks. I'm, I, I'm just saying. I mean, <laughs> he doesn't have his filter on, folks. Oh, number eight. The Oliva Series V Melanio Churchill. Oh, good smoke. I yes, mean, yeah. Sir. That's a solid smoke. It is, man. Coming in at number eight. That's good. I can see that. Yeah, that's I mean, that's that's a that's a really good smoke. And for the price, that's a that's not a real <sighs> expensive, expensive cigar. cigar uh-uh, to come in in the top ten, too. Right. And then number seven, we have Alec Bradley, the gatekeeper Robusto. See, I don't agree with that one either. Mm. I mean, I, I'm, I'm 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 right there <laughs> with you on that one. I would. That's a top fifty. <laughs> Boy, 
Oh, you throw folks down low, dude. Man. That's a top fifty. I'm looking. You I'm think looking about at it how in the 30s many, too. You think about how many good cigars aren't on that list mm-hmm. that would go ahead of that all day long. I mean, the gatekeepers of regular mm-hmm. everyday smoke. That's a good regular everyday smoke. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's not you a top it, ten. You threw it in the top fifty. Fifty. Though. Yeah, there's just a lot of good cigars out there. Number six, we got the Hoya, the Nicaragua, I'm Numero. A fan. You Uno Lambassador. I'm a fan. I've smoked that. I've I smoked haven't. a few of those. Those are good. I haven't had that. Oh. I'm a fan of La Jolla. Yeah, me too. They make you good, got me on that. Yeah, they you make good sticks. Number five, the top five. We're going down. We, we're counting down now. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Number five is the punch, short the punch. There is no way in hell that's that low on the list. Come on, I, man. That's the thing that got I'm me. I'm telling you right now. I'm looking Punch up. Punch bought looking up at, at least two full page ads <laughs> last year. I'm telling you, I don't buy that for a minute. That's the same thing as the gatekeeper. Poof. Oh, no way. Okay. So we go number four. La Mission La Torre Atelaria. 1959. Never heard of Me it. Me neither. But that's a nice look, kind of looking band. There. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, if it was a band judging contest, I'm good with that. You, this is one of yours. Okay. Number three, Padron 1964. Oh, boom. Can't beat it. That's You know what? That's a good place for that. Yeah. Number three, I'm good with that. Coming in in second place, folks. Second. Second place. Second place loser. <laughs> Second place. No, was that how is that said? No, he said <laughs> first place loser. <laughs> Sorry, gentlemen. You're and not ladies. first, your last. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Number two, Fuente Fuente Opus X Double Robusto. Let me see that one and see which one that is. Okay. See the rap on the I, I, you know what? I'm not that big a fan. Mm. I think that one's highly overrated. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's Opus X, so you know you're getting quality. Yeah. You're okay. going to, but, but, but that being said, I mean, to me, it's overpriced, and the cigar is just not as good as what the price holds. So for the first, <clears throat> for the first twenty four, uh huh. We're not getting to one yet, but for the first twenty four, where do you see their list at right now? So what kind of score would I give them mm-hmm. on a one to one hundred? Mm-hmm. Like right now, without knowing what number one is, I'm going to give them a score. Of an eighty-two, that's higher than I thought you would give them. There's some good sticks. There in are. There. There's some good sticks. There are, I'm not going to some that you <laughs> you knock down to fifties. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I mean, but you know, you got they're worth four points a piece. Yeah. So in a hundred point scale, you so had eighty-two right. Eighty-two. Now. Okay, that's higher than I thought you would give them. It, it really is. You know, I kind of applaud you on that one. They, COVID did something for I mean, you thought I was going to just kill them. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, I'm, we're being honest here. So, they're number one. Dun, 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 dun. Larry Zoda with the drum roll. E.P. Carrillo, Pledge Prequel. Yeah, that dropped them down to about a 78. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he took the, he, that four just disappeared off the list. They, they just dropped down to a seventy-eight. Let me tell you, I, I bet you, if you go through all the magazines last year, they were at the top of the food chain on how much money they spent. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So and for that EP to be number one, nah, man, I'm not on that. <laughs> I'm not on that. I I would give the Luke. list. I would give the list at this point. Ah. <sighs> You know, I don't look about an 88. Wow. Are you serious? Yeah, 88. Because this summer. What like, are they sponsoring you on this show? I wish. <laughs> Which? <laughs> Cigar aficionado. I can't be bought. <laughs> I can't be bought. <laughs> and I ain't that expensive. <laughs> for the kind of money EP Carrillo Ooh, paid you, for I can real. Be there for no <laughs> for problem. Real. For real, real. No, and you know. I I used to be more excited about listening to or not listening but seeing the list. This year I didn't even look at it until probably 2 weeks into the new year. Yeah. I mean it just doesn't hold the value that it used to like it used yeah, to. And yeah, one of the yeah. reasons why I think is that we have every 
Tom, Dick, and Harry doing a top 20 like me and you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I mean, it's it's like. I like that Tom, Dick, and Harry. <laughs> I mean, when you can. when I mean, how many top 20 lists are out there? No, dig this. Go back. How long you been smoking? Stick, sticks. Probably 10 years. So, we go back 10 years. Do you think I, our list, me and you, <laughs> would compare to what we would say today? No. No way dude, in the world. Dude, I smoked so many dog rockets not the back one. in the day because <laughs> I didn't know. Me, you know, when I was I on I mean, the, nobody knows when they start. When I was on the railroad, man, <laughs> I hate to say this, but I would carry a pack of backwoods with me. Right. Because I didn't care. You know, right. it was something when I'm out working to stop and I put it in my mouth smoking. When I got done, it, it would be like a third smoke and I just throw it away because I'm getting back up on the engine. I'm like, I didn't care. But now. I don't. Yeah, I'm not smoking trash. No, no, no. It's not going to happen. I bro. can't smoke trash. I mean, when you if you light one up, you've never smoked before and it's trash. You put it out. It's like I'm not smoking that. And, and that's one I go against etiquette on. I actually put that sucker out. I'm like, nope, I don't even want to smell this in the air. <laughs> I easily done. toss it right out the window when I'm driving. Is that why we have all these wildfires? <laughs> 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 I do look out the rearview mirror to see if it goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, it's pretty windy. <laughs> Especially these last couple of days. I man. know, man. I hate Ooh. the wind. Ooh. But anyway, so I, 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 I'm, I was joking about the growing down the 78. I'm, I'm going to give them an 80. Okay. I think you're okay. shooting really high. I think you're being very forgiving. <laughs> I don't think you see the level of corruption I see going on over there. <laughs> That's a joke. You said they're being bought. They're being bought. <laughs> you know, I mean, it used to be, and I think that's one of the reasons that I don't look at that list yeah. as intently because as I used to. It's biased now. You're the right. More money, the more money they put, the higher they get on the list. And and you know what? And I think what they do, I mean, this is just my own personal gotcha. opinion. Yeah, I can't be held liable. <laughs> <laughs> the producer stopping the He's show. like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> He's no, getting ready to say that. I mean, and this is just a theory. Okay. Okay. I think they take like eighty percent of the advertisers and put them on the list, and then they sprinkle in, you know, twenty percent of non-advertisers to make it look legit. That's just me. It's called making money. I get it. Keeping the doors open. I get it. I'm not knocking them for it. I'm just saying it takes away the value of what that list means to me. Yeah. That's all. It's just like. And don't get me wrong. I think they got some good sticks on there. And But here's the thing when it comes right down to it. You could give me a stick that's in the top 200, uh -huh. and it's still going to be a good stick. Oh, yeah. So all this is is a puppet show. <laughs> you know mm, what I mean? I it's you. like if you don't make the list. If you're in the top 200, you make a you damn still, good you stick. You make a damn good stick. I got you. I got you. I mean, think about some of the cigars that we smoke. I mean, the cigar I'm smoking right now, yeah. the definition of cigar, they've never even heard of these guys when, as cigar aficionado, and they may not ever make the top 25, but you know what? It's, it's a, a top 25 it's stick. It's a damn good stick. It is, man. It is. It doesn't. I, you don't like, you and Larry don't like the pig. But I like that I didn't pig, like the, I didn't like the pig, but that's the only one. The, all the other ones have been I like a the knockout. Pig. Yeah, I like the pig. It was a full. It was a little full body. It was a little pig. It was. <laughs> it, it definitely was to me. I was like, I, yeah, I it was. It was this. like a flying pig. Yeah, I went about three more of them. Did like, you really? Like, yes. See, I no, I smoked one, and that was good for me. That's you. Yeah, that's yeah. why you dropped them down to an eighty. <laughs> that's right i'm a little a little a little more particular yeah. but you know that's my saying though is i mean look how many cigars cigar aficionados never even heard of yeah. and they're missing the boat on some especially, really good sticks especially the ones you smoking at night and the one i had i smoked it up with the cameroon the green the green ribbon dude just... and i mean you look at mcauliffe <sighs> 
Dude, they got, they got they got they got five sticks that should be in the top twenty five. Yes, yes, but McAuliffe didn't spend any money with cigar fish not not last year. Just saying. But the word still got out, didn't it? So, well, Worldwide. Instead of putting their money into advertising, they put their money into brick and mortars. Yeah, because that's where it's gonna matter. You're right. Most. And I mean when you look at that avenue. I mean, I, I'm more impressed by that than I am if you made the top 25. People, like you say, in those rural areas that would never see cigar aficionado, but they make it make their way into that brick and mortar, and they see those definitions. They see those Viva La Vidas. They see those McAuliffe's. They see those sticks in there, and they try them. They're like, whoa. Right. And then but they tell somebody else. Right. And the word gets out that way quicker because, first of all, they didn't even well, see the man. It's more legitimate, oh, too. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I've never been looking through Cigar Aficionado and seen an ad for a cigar and thought, oh, I want to go try that. Bro, I've never looked at an ad in anything and made me want to go try it. I have to talk to people because I'm not going to waste my money. Man, what was it for real? Talk to me about it. Right. Well, I can't say I've never done it because I, I bought my wife a copper pan for Christmas. Oh, yeah, we know about that. <laughs> so I can't say I've never done it. <laughs> but how did that go over? <laughs> I learned my lesson. Thank you. Stay out of the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so that's that's my thoughts on gotcha. Cigar Fish Nose Top 25. And you know what? I I find value in Cigar Fish and Auto. Uh-huh. Because whenever I want to look up a lot of different news, it's there. They it's have there. a lot of articles covering a lot of aspects. So I find a lot of value with Cigar Aficionado. I'm not a subscriber, but when I'm on the internet and I'm looking for cigar news, I like to use their website. <laughs> he said we need on the internet looking for cigar right. news. <laughs> we know he's not looking for cigar I didn't, news I didn't say internet. cigar nudes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that West Texas, that's what I heard. <laughs> We're looking for some nude cigars. <laughs> that's what the dude in the, by the Winnebago heard. He said nudes. <laughs> he said nudes. <laughs> That dude's name is Tim. <laughs> I didn't say that, Tim. <laughs> Your buddy forever said that. So, anyway, well, let's let's talk a few minutes about the playoff football situation. Man, man. We're going to have a great Super, Super Bowl. Bowl. I, I have been impressed by just about every single playoff game, including, you know what my favorite one was so far? Was Cleveland beating Pittsburgh? I knew it. That's what I was gonna say, dude. When, the when best... they when when they started out the game with that hike up over mm. Roethlisberger's head yeah. and scored a touchdown, yeah. I was like, these dudes got a shot. And then within two minutes, they, they scored again, right? <laughs> on a on the defense, yes. I was like, these dudes showed up. What the best part of that game to me, and I hate to put it like this, was the end. Seeing Roethlisberger sitting there crying. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, yes. He was sitting on the bench, him and uh, his center. I can't think of the guy's name. Uh, the center. He was, and later on, it was like the next now, day. Now he knows how that young girl that he took advantage of feels. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. I'm taking my headphones off. This show, this show is over tonight. I didn't say any of those words. So when the deposition comes out. Okay, that was a joke. <laughs> Lighten up Ooh, over there. Lord. <laughs> you act like the FBI is just sitting outside. Dude, I keep telling you. <laughs> oh, Can we get a refill? You no, know, you don't need Green one. <laughs> Oh my goodness! I just want a little half of one. No, I ain't talking about that. I'm okay. talking about you, where you are. <laughs> Who? I just want. I, I, I wish we could get more people that are Patreons. Oh, so they could see that video. <laughs> Whew, that was something. That anyway, was hard, man. The, it was just so what you know what he's talking about. There's a video because when I, I fell on my front porch and we have a ring doorbell that That's caught it all. I was going to say he paid to get caught. <laughs> and anyway, that video is on the pre-show so the Patreons oh, can goodness, see me man. bite the dust. Dude, you bit more than the dust. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the hub falling from space. <laughs> you hit hard. Dude, I didn't move. You, the ground hit. <laughs> the ring shook. Yeah, yeah it was tough. Oh, it was dude. not nice. 
I just sat there and looked. I was like, oh, that hurt. Then, then you laid there like, oh. <laughs> what was this? That was the Simpsons. He's like, I, not the Simpsons, a uh, 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 f- uh, family. Um, y- yeah, he's like, ow, hurt. <laughs> Ouch. Dude, I thought that I was going to have to maybe Call have some help. Call the ambulance. <laughs> yeah. Peel you off the concrete. You hit hard, I man. I did. And when it's Ooh. when it's when it's unexpected. But the thing was, this is what got me first. I thought it was just like because we were looking at TikTok early. I thought it was a TikTok. And I looked. I was like, wait a minute, that's you. <laughs> that's you. Yeah. And then you look like, yeah, that was like, oh my god. Your wife turned around. She looked like he fell. <laughs> How did that happen? Yeah. Well, she was like, what happened? What is he doing? Yeah. <laughs> what, Rob. <laughs> So anyway, circling back around to. to the playoffs. Oh. I mean, every game has been very exciting. There was no I mean, I don't think there was any blowaways except for the Eagles that laid down and gave it away. <laughs> I say this. They did better than the Cowboys. No, no, no. Yeah. Well, dude, the Cowboys actually did one game less uh score or not scores. Uh Record wise, remember I predicted them to be eight and eight. You did, you did. and they, they were seven and nine. Seven and nine. Mm-hmm. I knew they were going to be bad, but I didn't know they were going to be that bad. See, the whole division, that whole division, yeah. Was bad. And well, I mean, and I mean, what a joke! The teams from the yeah. NFC East that played. Oh yeah, and in the way, look at the debacle after what the Eagles did. Everybody's gone. Oh, that yeah. cost him his job, man. It should. Yeah. That, that people say now is he going to New York? I don't know. Because I saw I, uh, with who the Jets. I saw Cooper saying that he should be going to the Jets Man. to coach, and I, I disagree no, with that. Say, say, so, uh, Salah, uh, our uh, defense coordinator is the head coach in uh yeah, 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 yeah. But they were saying they Man, wanted. He ain't going to pull him, man. He took our head. He he left and he took the uh, offensive coordinator with him. I was like, God, he just he just did us wrong. He robbed us. I was like, why? <laughs> why? But, you know, it's going to be. This year is going to. Oh, God, you scared me with that one. This year is going to be. It's going to be. A mirror, you know what I'm saying? Because people are gonna look at this year and be like, "Wow, look how the year progressed." The COVID issues. No, no, no. Pittsburgh and, and, and let me Pittsburgh playing three games and what? Well, and they were eleven and zero. Yeah. Oh. And then they and then just, the truth came out. Well, because they hadn't really played they anybody. Hadn't, they hadn't. And I'll tell you who was really shocking to me was Baltimore. Baltimore. I thought they were gonna be a lot better. But see, it, People had people had a year to dissect a lot of the things that they did. You know the NFL. You get one year with that stuff. You do. Yes, uh, the offense was still strong. It really same was. thing with Arizona. Oh, yeah. you know they figured them out real quick, real quick, real quick. But the, the saving grace for Arizona was Houston <laughs> sending DeAndre Hopkins over. There. <laughs> that was a saving grace for Arizona, right? Because without him, they would. They but I would, mean, whew. before. The quarterback just ran yeah, all over ran the field. Over. See, that didn't happen mm-mm, as much, mm-mm. except for when, when he played the Cowboys. And the 49ers. And when he played the Cowboys, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he was like I mean, people were like, is that Barry Sanders? Yeah, joystick. That's what yeah. he turned into. But talking about joysticks, number 10 for Kansas City, bro. No <laughs> kidding, man. Tyree. That dude is a, that's a, that's Madden 2. That brother, he takes off. That run he made, the guy was less than an inch away from him reaching. Just <laughs> And he just ran away from that reach. He was yeah. like, wait a minute. I was like, this dude is something else, man. But we're going to have a powerful Super Bowl, man. It, it, it's going to show. This, this, and then we say that and it'll be a blowout on one of them. But I just, I don't I, I don't, don't think it'll that. be a blowout. I don't see that. But I just. I'll tell you what's going to be tough is for Mahomes against that defensive rush. Dude. Those dudes were on Aaron Rodgers all day. But Aaron Rodgers is not mobile as he used to be anymore. But he's not like Joe Flacco. And he's not Mahomes either. Mahomes, I, I agree. See, the but he's was- going to keep Mahomes scrambling all day. But then the, the thing about it, when he's scrambling, that's when he's dangerous. He, that's that true. That's when he's dangerous. But I think that that defensive line is going to give Mahomes trouble. 
Oh, I can see it, especially with them losing that uh, tackle. Yeah, well, and you know, he's still recovering from a turf toe. Oh, yeah. It didn't show last It didn't week. show. It didn't show. They put a steel plate in his shoe. I was like, look, he acting like he got a pair of old jungle boots on. <laughs> well, and I was thinking that that concussion business oh, might have affected him, but, but he that, was good. Nope. You couldn't see that either? No. You couldn't see that either. And then the 43-year-old man. He, he he played like he was 23 in the first half, and in the second half, he played like he was 93. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. He can't throw three interceptions and then win. Not against Kansas City? No, sir. It's going to be – really what's going to come down to is whoever has the most turnovers, they're going to lose. I guess – but then again, with Kansas City, you really can't say that because – Anytime that young man has the ball in his hands. In the hands, fourth quarter, he's oh yeah. coming on strong. Oh, yeah. Because <clears throat> you, you have to play him four complete quarters. You do. Because if you slack off. <sighs> well, I'll tell you who else I was you. impressed with this season was Josh Allen. Oh, yeah. That young man yeah. is his third really. Year in, and yeah. they showed his rookie year, he threw 10 touchdowns. <laughs> his second year, he threw 20. This year, he threw 40. They said next year, he throw 80. <laughs> he doubled every year. I was like, And they ah. put a good team around him. He did. He did. And so now that he's been in the championship game, they've got the experience to take it one to the next level. But we said the same. But he's got to beat – He's got to beat Mahomes, Mahomes yeah. to get there, mm-hmm. and that's not going to be easy. As long as they hold that team together. Which everybody there look, looks like they love playing it because there were guys that took pay cuts to stay there. Yeah. I mean, it would be tough for you to say you want to go play here. You're going to have to offer me a lot of money. To, get, to walk away from this. Right. A tr- like everybody was with the Patriots for a while. To get me to walk away from a ring? Yeah, you got to pay me. Right. <laughs> you got to pay me. Because I we have a real chance to go back again next year. So uh, how much you talking? Well, you look at A.B. Now he's got his shot. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow, that's weird. I just thought about that when you said that. And half the year, he wasn't even <laughs> – he, he went back to college. <laughs> he was like, whoa. And in the end, he's like, no. Nah. He started failing out, and he's like, somebody wants to sign me? Oh, no, I, I don't I don't have any idea how he was doing. But. <laughs> well, hey, guys, that's enough football talk for sure. We're going to wrap it up. Uh, we want to let you guys know we appreciate the Patreon so 100%. much. If you watch the YouTube video at the end, you'll see – all of the Patreons because we have their name up. Yes, sir. Uh, we do have to update because we got some new ones. Yes. So that'll be next week. We'll have a whole edition of our Patreon. We but might have a surprise next week, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's for sure. So anyway, guys, we want to say thank you to the Patreons. Uh, you know, you guys help the show stay on the airways or <laughs> internet ways or digital <laughs> pathways. No matter how hard Rob tries to keep us off of there. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll be all right yeah anyway thank you guys so much yes. for the support we appreciate it L- much love and until next week keep smoking